Welcome back, guys, to Tales of Arise, where last episode, after checking out Owl Forest, obtaining some items for finding the owls less far from his king and queen, we continued into the Nevira Snowfield to explore, finding the secret entrance into the region's capital to head into Sizzledon and make contact with the Resistance, the Silver Swords within, meeting with their leader, Menek. We now check out the city, hoping to find out anything we can about Zephyr. If you're looking to pick up some intel, I suggest you visit the Central Plaza. You won't be able to just talk openly to whoever you like there, but you should at least hear some of the rumours going around. Plus, it's a good opportunity for you all to get to know Sicilian and see where things are at, at with it for yourselves. I do wonder if I can actually buy weapons at a weapon shop at this point or not. It's all just crafting now. I never expected to see your crew running with a Ren, and I must admit, to be honest, I'm not sure I'm comfortable with it. You might say she's on the same side as us, but you just can't trust them. Well, that said, I haven't bought a weapon from a shop yet. Have you and Menek known each other for long, Rinwell? No, not really. I haven't been with the Silver Swords for all that long, truth be told. He's a smart guy, but he's also deeply suspicious of other people. I can understand, since that's how you get to survive around here. Really? I could tell he was wary of us at first, but he seemed to warm up to us pretty quickly once we talked to him. Yeah, that's pretty unusual for him. I think that's a sign of how desperate things have become. In my case, it took a long time for him to start trusting me. But then again, I kind of get where he's coming from. You never know who might betray the group, or when the Snake Eyes might be watching. What made you join up with the Silver Swords in the first place? This wasn't your hometown, so... Was it the Snake Eyes who... No. It wasn't them. I just... Actually, we shouldn't stand around talking. People will start to suspect us. Let's keep moving. In here? We're not... <laughs> Shouldn't this be space space? If Rimwell brought you here, then that means you guys can be trusted. See yourself honorary silver swords. Feel free to use the space however you like. We're starting to run low on food. I better get in touch with the supply team so they can find more. Great work gathering all that intel. I know how risky it is for you to get all that, but your information is always a huge help. The snake guys haven't caught you sneaking around for us, have they? No, they're not aware of what I've been up to. At least I don't think they are. I couldn't tell you why, but sometimes I can't shake the feeling they might actually be onto me and just want me to think they haven't caught me. Dun dun dun. If you're feeling tired of hurt, I recommend staying here so you can rest up and heal. It's more to eat food, isn't it? So I'm out of ingredients for some of them now. I'll never be out of ingredients to make forage, though. All done. Come and eat. For 19 minutes of buff. That will last like an hour. Because the way the timing in this game works. Careful yeah, when you're walking around outside. Any bleeding you suffer could mean a fatal loss of body heat. Oh, hello. For cooking more food. Bottom the stomach. Increase attack, elemental attack when full, while the effects from cooking are active. Oh my god, Shion. I mean, it's easier on a full stomach, isn't it? Faster AG recovery. CP restoration when full. Oh wow, that's a mate. I mean, that means you never run out of CP. Most, for the most part. It, like, that's unlimited heals. Should I just try to go all the way up for that? <laughs> all the way. And you're at 69, are you? Boost attacks, downs, 35. Weapon types, forge, 10. I want to lock some more stuff in a bit. Uh, what do you think? I look just like the snake eyes, right? Nah, I can pass on them and they'll be none the wiser. Of course, if they catch me, that's it for me. High risk, high reward, you know. They wear plague masks. I know a snake eye member. Do they really expect us to trust that bright eye woman? If she's working with the authority, there's no telling what will happen to us. It's not our cool. Menek's the one who let her in, so like it or not, she stays. What is Menek thinking? Let a bright eye like her join up with us. Hell if I know. Well, let's count how many good guys we lost to her kind. 
Same goes for that guy we've heard from Calaglia. Just how naive he is, is he to... Oh, crap. It's me! Alright, nothing else in here, apart from the vendor. Anyone who's an enemy to Lord Ganabel and the Snake Eyes is a friend of me. Whatever you need, I'm happy to sell it. Well, we should be able to craft at least a gel... A group of Flood. And a gale Wind. But still not any of this. So just making sure I can do both. I can indeed. Grouper Flood, a water-based enhanced arts. Of course, fire would make more sense at this point in time, but we've got to get the bizarre mega cores first. So we'll go to a watery gun first. And then we'll enhance my wind arts. Even more power. A sword named for the wind astral energy it holds. Extremely light to wield. It can be swung around endlessly without fatiguing its owner. Comes handy. Probably not crafted enough yet. This is what we want. A new book. One stitched together, maybe. But I say, have I crafted ten yet? Okay, the latest armor that we found can now be bought. Maybe I should buy some eggs. I have eggs now. Make sure you use it wisely. I had to cross treacherous bridges to get my hands on all of these wares. I'm impressed how well balanced this thing is. He loves his weapon, he does. Out we go then. Let's see what our one I don't notice next. I'm scared of missing them, to be honest. Muskets? <laughs> I want them to appear on the big screen. Just in the center would be good. where those beams of light have been coming from. Right. Any Danans accused of dissent against the Slodia's lord are rounded up and brought here, then put to work. It's a fierce deterrent. And you think Zephyr might be in there with them? I want to see what the lights are all pointing towards. Take us there. can see where the floodlights converge from all the way over here. I want to take a closer look. There's something I need to confirm. What could possibly be worth the risk of us all getting spotted? You'll find out when we get there. Not being watched by someone, am I? You're talking, then when you get near them, they scatter. C can I help you? I'm just working here. They don't want to talk. To be honest, to be fair, we're right next to guards. I can understand why they don't want to talk. I would have come to give us a little time off once in a while. I'm fed up working day in and day out without even a break. Shh, don't say anything crazy, man. They're talking in the bottom left. Everybody walking around looks so depressed. Can you blame them? They live under the cover of darkness day and night. That's bound to wear you down. Not to mention all the snake eyes roaming around. Laughing, talking too loud, or just about anything that makes you stand out can get you killed. Constant surveillance you're talking about, eh? Be careful. If anyone's even a little suspicious of us, they'll report us immediately. Right. It's not just Snake Eyes we need to watch out for, but other Danans too. Still, there are a fair amount of people out on the streets. Isn't it safer to stay at home? That's the thing. If you stay cooped up too long, people start to suspect you're hiding something. Damned if you do, damned if you don't. So people feel like they have no choice but to turn others in so they don't get in trouble. What a miserable way to live. At the very least, we should probably go someplace where there aren't so many- Ah, uh, Shion! We already stick out here like a sore thumb as it is. So I think it's better if we just walk confidently out in the open. Yep. Don't look anxious. Just walk firmly and look like you have a destination in mind. What, is sticking to the plan too much of a hassle for her? This is why Renans are the worst. I don't know if it's a Renan thing or not, but she does have a point. Anyway, we're not going to get anywhere just standing around. Let's follow after her. You are literally going to draw the eye of everyone in this town. Just act like you have business being here. 
It's taking in embedded weaklings. Good for business. Most of them just run errands, but there's a few gems among them. Sometimes you get kids with real talent. Taking them in makes our job easier. Some kind of lantern. Hello. Apple gel. Can't take. Well, I can take, but I shouldn't take. I got tipped the applaud of revolt. That's crazy. There must be some mistake. It's the floodlights for you. Come along now. What are you looking at? You want to be on floodlights too? I mean... Is it really all that bad? That's the front door. This case on lockdown. Come any closer and you're under arrest. This is our direction then, right? outside and people give you the hairy eyeballs. Stay indoors and they suspect you. Damn if you do, damn if you don't, huh? There's no use fretting over it. Someone will find an excuse to report you no matter what you do. I can say the the it's the beat of the ladies things and maybe we go Who's there? Beavos Who was there? If you know what I mean Everybody's so quick to stab each other in the back for a day's pittance. I'm sick of it all. Hey, here an outsider's going in. Let's submit a tip and get the payoff before anybody else can beat us to the bunch. Hey, so I'm here. This is me. I will knock you out. There, miss. Y yes, what is it? I've received reports of you wandering beyond your living cause and work area. What do you have to say for yourself? Um, I... This doesn't look good, Alfin. You're not conspiring with any rebels, are you? What? what? Perish the fort! I, I have young children to look after. Kids whose parents were sent to work floodlights. That's so. Well, I've heard it all before, lady. I'm sending you to the floodlights for going out of bounds without permission. You can tell those parents how their kids are when you get there. No. No, please. Who's going to take care of them if I'm not around to help them? Not my problem. Nobody asked you to take them in to begin with. Come with me. That's how you get shipped off. It doesn't take much. <laughs> this is insane. Here's your reward. If you find anyone else suspicious, be sure to report them too. Right, of course. Thank you very much. Hey. Do you know what you just did? Hmm? Alpha, no. That woman you turned in was looking after kids who had no parents. So, what's it to me? Why, you... Huh? My parents got sent to the floodlights too, you know. They came back in a sorry state. They can't work put food on the table, so I've got to do what I can to make ends meet. That doesn't mean you can simply... Why, you? Then you, Fetus. Come on, get some food. I'm waiting, damn it. God, I shouldn't have yelled like that. Alfin. Sorry. I'm sorry about that, Rimwell. Let's get out of here. We have a realm to save. And Zephyr. Could aggressively make him some porridge. Very aggressively. I've been placed up this alley now, so I'm going to continue. I don't think I've seen that person around here before. Shh, don't you be like that. Me neither. Very suspicious. So it's the scattering people. We better report them. <laughs> really? They're going to report me? Look at this guy. He's carried in fear. It's the cold the only reason you're shaking. Well... Please have mercy, I've done nothing. I might feel more charitable if you put me in, point me in the direction of someone up to no good. You can tell me all about it at HQ. You don't want me to ship you off to the floodlights, do you? Does make you wonder what the floodlights are. My current theory is that the floodlights are... You literally hold on to them and you point them at somewhere and that your life energy comes out of them. Could be, could not be. We'll have to see. It's got to be some form of torture after all, right? Let's get some lockdown. Come any closer and you're under arrest. Okay. It's got to be torture, Russ. 
That's why they scatter like that. Wow. We've already been down here. Oh, that's the top bit. Maybe there's a goodie there. Whee! Oh, it's a way to fall down if you want to. Oh, that's good. He's... More apple gels. <laughs> See, I'm collecting you. Just because I'll never really be back there again. I feel like it's really weird leaving them lying around. Let's check out the floodlights. I mean, people don't die. The floodlights, it seems. A spirit vessel. I thought as much. So they're pumping it full of light. No, not light. Astral energy. Of course. No wonder this realm's so dark. It's as though there's a pall over the sky even during the day. Except it isn't dark. Not really. The light's just being diverted. Diverted? Suck up all the light? And all that's left over is darkness. What's the difference? Darkness exists as an actual element of astral energy, just like light does. Didn't you know that? Mm. Let me break it down for you. Astral energy exists as different elements. There's earth, water, fire, and wind, as well as light and darkness. But... Dark astral energy only exists on Rena, and light astral energy on Dana. So, dark energy isn't harvested as part of the crown contest. She's right. It's the same reason why I can't wield dark energy, and similarly, why no Renans can use light energy either. The only exception to that rule on the Renan end is likely the Lord here, who has the Light Master Core. Whatever the case, it looks like they're collecting light here the same way they were fire back in Calaglia. From what I hear, there used to be a proper day and night cycle in Cislodia ages ago. But apparently, over the last 300 years, the darkness spread from Cisloden and covered the whole realm. That's crazy. I can't believe the Renans found a way to steal even our own damn light. We shouldn't linger. Let's keep moving before someone spots us. Wandering around blindly is getting us nowhere. The Snake Eyes have the information we need, but we can't just ask for it. So what if we sneak in and take it instead? I wasn't aware you knew how to be sneaky. Uh, hey, look over there! That's Zephyr's son. Law. I don't know. Something doesn't feel right about all this. Are you kidding? He's practically gift-wrapped for us. Hey, what are you? <sighs> I remember you. What do you want? We don't mean you any harm. We just want to talk quietly. Deal? <sighs> Make it quick. Where are you keeping Zephyr? Uh, uh, We're here to rescue him. Uh, why? What do you mean, why? Isn't he your father? Oh yeah, easy to forget that. After he abandoned me. Abandoned? It's the truth. All my old man ever cared about was sticking it to the bright eyes. He never even made it to mom's funeral. So you become an agent for the local lord? You got a problem with that? You're not exactly one to talk, keeping company with a Renin woman. You think you know her, but wait until she has a choice between you and her people. I may have become an agent for the Renins, but at least I'm here trying to soothe the agony of my people from the inside. What's your excuse? I don't buy it. No. 
You're running because you're scared. You think you're the only one who's had to suffer? What the hell do you know, you- <laughs> What the- Damn you! Word to the wise, people like you Enough. make me- Look, I don't know what happened between you and your father, but what I do know is that when you fought back at the village, he wouldn't raise a hand to strike you. Uh. I've never seen Zephyr back down from a fight, but he could never hurt his own son. And when he said he was staying behind, I think it was because he wasn't willing to abandon you. If you know anything, then tell us. Please! I... I don't know where they're keeping my dad now. All I've heard is that they're going to publicly execute him. In the plaza in front of headquarters. Execute? Thank you. You did the right thing. Why are you so determined to help my father? Zephyr is the reason I took up the sword. He taught me how to think for myself. And I want to learn more. If they're going to execute him in the plaza, then it'll be too dangerous for us to go alone. Let's ask Menik. He should be able to sneak us in. Sounds good to me. Let's have a chat with him. Indeed, but first of all, we've got a skit, and of course, Lord standing in front of us. So, I get that you perform a certain type of astral arts, but why does your magic look so different from what Renan's use? Is it a different source or something? I'm not exactly an expert on how Renan's cast magic, but we both manipulate astral energy to create it. We just channel that energy in different ways. Like how you chant your spells, whereas they throw out those weird symbols? Yeah, and just like how there are different ways to use a sword. There are elemental differences between us two. For example, light is only in Dana, and darkness is only in Rena. Ah, all right, that makes sense. So let me ask, does that mean you can't use any dark magic at all? Or that they're just more attuned to it? Basically not at all, since I don't have any dark energy inside my body. There might be an indirect way to tap into it, but I wouldn't know. I didn't learn everything that my family knew about magic, so it's hard for me to say for sure. Fair enough. Thanks for teaching me all that. I really do appreciate it. Sure thing. Well, hello, Law. You won't talk no more. Where have we moved to, actually? So we were in there. Now move to out there. Our destination is found in Plaza Avenue. So there? No. Back to the central plaza then? And through there? I guess just follow the markers, right? Leave Law behind. Can we check out more of the area that we walked into and we somehow got zooped out of? Wait, there are way too many snake eyes up ahead. No. Sis, why did Mummy and Daddy get taken away? Did they do something bad? No, no, they didn't. Mummy and Daddy did nothing wrong. Remember that. Even more people to talk to on the way. That's still blocked off. So we're going back then. When that thorn's caught by surprise, literally no one can really mess with her, can they? Every time it's like, oh, you don't know what you're getting into, do you? I hope oh, uh, there it goes again. I wonder if something happened. As a quest. Hmm. 
There's something wrong. Hmm. Yeah, you could say that. You know the hidden passage that connects Sisledon to the outside world? Well, on my way back from there, I spilled some food outside the entrance. Uh. The smell of it attracted Zoogles, and now it's too dangerous to cross through that path. Not much point talking to Briegelin about it, either. Everyone in the Silver Swords is too busy. Hey. I guess we'll handle it. That sounds like a big problem. The path's the only way into and out of town at this point, right? Have the Zoogles gone into the pathway itself? Not yet, thankfully. They've just been hanging around the entrance. Why? Are you thinking of helping? Hmm. I know it's a lot to ask right now, right. but... It's fine. We'll take care of it. There's not something we can afford to ignore. Thank you. I really owe you all big time. Just be careful. There are a lot of Zoogles crawling around out there. Got it. Sure, I will priority that one. So if I want to get that one, I have to go this way. Beat the roper near the entryway. Is it boisterous? Welcome to Sizzler then. You should hurry on before anyone notices you. Also, watch what you say around people or you'll quickly regret it. I've got a quest. Okay, off we go. To partake in before anything else. So I should sort this out. Considering it's not far away and it's preventing people's entrance. So, yeah. Seems like a good thing to do. That looks like the Zoogle we were told about. Loads of them! Let's dispose of the trash. You're finished! Light Astro Dance in the wind! You're mine! Huh? Right. This is the you all off! Turn them up! Astral energy! Say no more! Oosh! They're surrounding us! You're mine! Keep using photon, it's all good. They got blasted. Alright, so where's this roper? <laughs> it's down there. <laughs> I think that was definitely one of our targets, though. I remember, we should probably hit these every time we do for trying to get the higher rarity ones. There's the Zoogle we were asked to handle. Let's handle it. No choice. Here I come. Come and face me. I can't lay a finger on you. I prefer it that way. What about you? Just watch and see. You're mine. You're finished. How dare the enemies get defeated before I get to do my finisher on them and waste my other built up charge? That's the super sad times. Alright, so that should mean all the Zoogles we were asked to dispatch have been now dispatched. I could literally fast travel to the other side. Right back to where we need to be. Quest complete very fast. Finally. If only we could have flown with the wind to get here faster. What? <laughs> okay. You mean poodle wise? Yeah. Oh, it's you all again. How'd it go? The zoogle has gone right. now. Yeah, we more or less cleared them out. You should be able to use that path again, no problem now. Gotcha. Great, it's a load off my back. Thanks for taking care of that. You good guy. <laughs> I'm gonna go check it out then. Safe travels, everyone. 800 gold, 210 SP. It's the SP we want. SP is accumulated for one of our things. So this is for Placid Pool, a water strike. Let's put Gale Force on the watch list next then. You've got CP Restoration in full. That's going to take a billion years. Don't really know what's best for you at the moment. We could just keep trying to 
build up forge stuff. I mean, Rising Falcon's probably not terrible, but it's not got an element. Priest boost strike damage? I, I might just wait a little bit. Get more boost attack downs. Doesn't sound like a bad idea, does it? All right. Random quest found and complete. Pan and Plaza Avenue. Here we go. Am I supposed to be there? I'll just report back what I've learned. So, you made it back in one piece. No promising leads unearthed on this end, I'm afraid. It may take a little longer. We got our own lead, but it's not good. They're planning to execute Zephyr in the plaza in front of the Snake Eyes headquarters. And soon. They're going to what? I've never known them to move so fast. They must believe he poses a grave threat. We have to break him out. We could really use your help. Not gonna be easy, but I'm sure we can think of something. If they're staging it in the plaza, there's bound to be an announcement beforehand. Which means if we can... Snake Eyes! They've got us surrounded! Damn! I knew we shouldn't have trusted... Save it! In position, everyone! Repel them! Use us, Menik. We've got your back. No. You need to get out of here now. Rinwell, you know what to do. Underground waterway to the rear. On it. But... No discussions. You didn't make it this far for it to end here. We'll be fine. We just have to buy you a little time. I'll send word later. Now get going already! Trouble. 